Hello, how are you, Amanda Saint Artist? We're gonna do eyeshadow. Did I wink? I did not get my husband by winking. Okay, I'm gonna grab my eyeshadow brush and we're gonna get started. So, really simple. I'm not gonna use very many colors. I think I just wanna use three. They're all in here. I'm gonna be using Leo, Drift, and Sedona. <laughs> I love using Leo. It's a nice bright orange color that surprises everybody great for summer. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of it, tap it out, and I'm gonna pop this way up high. I like this to be really warm as my transition color. Anytime I'm picking a transition color, one, I build it up. I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna blend this all the way up to the brow. Yep, to the brow. I have hooded eyes, so I live on the brow bone, and then I go all the way up to the brow. Just like that. Look at how pretty that is. It's just, you could stop here and let this be your color. I'm not, but you could. So we're grabbing that Leo, and by living on that brow bone, keep your eyes open, and then blend, blend, blend. Windshield wiper this puppy all the way up. I focus most of the blending on the brow bone until it's good and blended, then I go boop, 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 up. Because you don't want it orange all the way up. You want it to just be a slow fade. So remember these colors are buildable. I always focus this on the bottom of the brow bone, the base of the brow bone, and then once I feel like I've emptied my brush a good amount with windshield wipering, I boop, boop, boop up to the top. Just like that. This just helps open the eyes up, give less look of the hood. You can't move your crease, but you can make it not look so hooded by hiding all your colors in the hood. We're gonna get out of the hood. Everybody wants out of the hood. And so you want your colors to show just like that. All right, so we've got this color here. We brought it up. We've showcased the color. This just does, it makes your eyes look bigger. It makes them look less hooded. They can still see the crease, but by having that color up there and not completely disappearing once you open your eyes, the illusion that you don't have a hooded eye is there. All right, next I'm gonna go into the color Sedona. It's this really nice brown. It's a light color. I'm gonna go in with the small end. I'm gonna push this color on, pushed it on. I'm gonna flick off any excess. And then I'm going to push this under the brow bone into the crease and over just like that and I'm kind of keeping this off the lid pushing it into the lower crease in the front and the back just to give myself by pushing it above the crease and under that brow bone we're lifting that crease we're lifting out of that hooded area blending it in to that beautiful transition color I'm going to tap a little more on and I'm going to go under my eyes here just to have a nice smoky eye and then I'm gonna have it meet that shade. Do you see that? How pretty that is? How it's opened up my eye? I mean, look at this eye compared to this eye. It is, it's given the illusion that my crease is higher than it is. That's the key. That's the key. So grabbing some more, tap off the excess. And again, pushing under that hood, not hood, under that brow bone into that crease all the way over and pushing up into that brow bone, into that transition color. So pretty, so nice. It's showcasing the colors just like that, okay? We have given the illusion that our crease is higher. All right, tapping a little more on, tap it off. Get that lower lash line for a nice, smoky, defined eye. It makes your eyes look bigger. If you're gonna tight line, it's gonna shrink your eyes. We don't wanna do that. Tapping some more and I'm gonna bring them together. I'm bringing my lower lash line up into that crease area. You can take that fluffy in. You can give it a blend if you want to. You can blend it down. Look at that. My eyes look less hooded. We have given the illusion the crease is higher. All with shadows. Kind of like we do with our contour. We lift our cheekbones. We lower our cheekbones. We round out our cheeks. We chisel our jaws. We form our forehead. We shape our nose. You do the same thing with eyeshadows. All right, I'm going to go into drift. I'm gonna use my finger going into drift. I don't have a mirror on the bottom layer. And I'm just gonna tap this right in the middle, just like that, right in the middle. I'm gonna take what's left on my finger and I'm just gonna sweep it on the top under that brow. Pretty nice, putting it in the middle. Focusing this in the middle, don't worry, we're gonna spread this puppy out. Whatever's left on my finger again, sweeping above and under. There we go. 
All right, I'm gonna take that fluffy end of the brush. I'm gonna move that shimmer out. So it's still focused in the middle, but I've moved it out, moving it. Move, 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 move. Get over here. All right, there we go. All right, let's grab some liner. I always tight line my upper. I know I just said don't tight line. Don't tight line the lower part. All right, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna push up on this outer corner and then I just push up and over. This will tickle when you first start doing it. Do not go all the way over. Just go to where your lashes start to be less. <laughs> That's what I do. It changes for everybody, but you don't want to extend that outside of your lash line. I push into my lash line. So by tight lining the top, I get a little more definition, like a little bit of definition, but it also fills in between my lashes. So by doing this, when I add my mascara, it will give the illusion that I have fuller lashes at the base. I need to pop this out a little more. So pushing into that lash line over to where they start to thin, and that's it. It did go over. There we go, okay. I'm gonna grab this brush and just give a little bit of a dusting. Okay, now I'm gonna take, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna take a felt tip. I, I'm a sucker for a felt tip just for a little bit of a wing. And I am gonna go a little outside. I'm gonna extend my lash line. So you can see your lash line here and I'm gonna pull this down until it meets my lower lash line. And I've just extended it, okay? Then we're going to pull this up to where my crease ends and then I'm gonna go in. And this is just gonna be a bit of a cat eye. I like a small cat eye. I don't like a lot of definition. There we go. Then I'll look here, see how it goes. And I wanna pull it up a little and that's when I will add any lift. Just like that. Very simple. I'm gonna take this felt tip and I'm just gonna extend my lash line right there. That's all I've done is I've done two things. I've extended my lash line by living on the very edge of my lid in there. But when I put my mascara on, it's gonna look like my eyeliner goes all the way across. So again, we're going to extend our lash line until it meets the lower. Then we're gonna pull up and we're gonna meet. It's only on the last quarter of your lashes. And then we fill it in and then I look over here and I definitely need some lift. So I'm gonna do that. Just like that, done. Get that inner lid to extend the lash line. Just like that, now we'll grab our mascara. I need to get a new one, but look at how pretty, just adding a little tiny skosh of liner does. Watch what mascara is going to do for this look. It's so pretty. This is a really nice Sedona and Leo are just a really good cool and warm that marry together so well, but it's not a deep dark eye. But finding the placement that you like and the way you like your shadow to look is key. Once you find where you want your shadow to be, just change out the colors and you could come up with so many different eye looks that are actually the same eye look. So I just wiggle at the root and I pull. Wiggle at the root and I pull. Get this lower lash line a little bit. I just focus it on the outside. Get on the other side and I wiggle at the root and I pull. Wiggle and pull, wiggle and pull. Filling that root line, especially with me putting that tight line on the top, helps a lot. Gives that, fill it, that fullness at the base. I, like to, I don't like a lot of clumping with my mascara, so by filling it at the root and not at the base or at the top, helps. All right, let's check this out. I think I have two different eyeliners on. <laughs> two different shapes. Let's fix that. What? Nobody ever looks at you this close, by the way. Nobody, unless they're trying. So I, I do. And so I just need to lift this side a little bit more. Just like that. Boom, now I'm happy. <laughs> Am I? Am I? And that's it. That's the eye look. Super simple, super easy. Three colors. Leo, Sedona, Drift. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's it. Have a good day. <laughs>